Welcome everyone, it's your boy LF Jake with another episode of Wildermyth Season 2, The Enduring War, Episode 5. What should be the finale of our second season playing Wildermyth. Let's jump straight in. Last time we played this game, we uh, had to sacrifice one of our many heroes, Krell. She became one with the machines and helped us. Uh, what did she help us do? Clear out the... Um, the area where they've been coming from? <laughs> Maybe? I don't really know. But this last chapter, I think all we're doing is destroying the Mortigai heart, which is literally going to be the end of the Mortigai creations, and therefore the end of the Mortigai threat. Very exciting. I should always keep in consideration that the first time I load this game up at the start of the day, it takes absolutely ages to load up my save. And I need to prepare what I'm going to say beforehand. Are we here? Are we going? We're here. So, we've got the whole world map now. We have multiple places to attack from. We've got a team of seven. So what we'll be doing is splitting up and searching for clues. We'll send our weakest three up here. Who is our weakest three? I don't even know. Uh, Bran, he's only level one. Oh, I know it should be my strong, my weakest four and strongest three, right? Um, yeah, we'll do these. Oh no, not five. Viv or Ark, who wants to go? Well, Bran is Viv's son, so it could be these four. And then we'll send the other three. Okay. As you can see, there's loads of different paths of people going to different places. I still... I don't think we're going to recruit anyone in this episode. Unless... Unless we go... If two people die... Now, if three people die, so we go less than five people in the team, then we'll recruit. Okay, here we go. So we got our first fight. And it's going to be the bottom four. No, it's not. It's going to be the strongest three. So it's going to be Kasim, Erina, and Ark. A warrior, a mage, and a, a hunter. They hike a mulchy hill above Cormount Weaverworks, making their final approach. The trees here actually look younger than the wider woods. Kind of odd. Here's that feeling again. Listless, like Hubert Frog writes, I'm a cinder blown across the sky of my life. Should I say something? Kasim's leading the way, and it's he who spots the warm glow ahead. Did it flicker to life just now? Or maybe it had only been hidden behind trunks. It's an otherwise quiet place. The Clatterbones must have a reason for massing here. Maybe they appreciate the spring colours. Better question may be, what made us think it was smart to chase them here? There's an orangey light up, up ahead. Campfire, could be. Campfire? Could be a random traveller. May not be hostile, but I'll stay ready. Or no, this isn't a... isn't a... A gout flame swirls amid these sabre rocks, silent, bright and smokeless. It's not a place to hang your kettle. Now this is a true discovery. I wonder why it's not hot. Not hot, it's blistering. I feel it. Kasim, are you okay? Did you hear stories? Or is it just my mind that hears them? Kasim moves nearer the spiralling inferno, apparently unscorched. Kasim, I'm not like a cinder blown here by the wind. Accident. I'm a lot like cinder blown here by the wind. Accident. I remember one tall story. It's brief. It's for children. In early days, the sky's back was not so stiff. She bent and saw a handsome grey squirrel who climbed the top of a redwood. Kasim, you're getting really close. The squirrel, he chatted to her, her blithely. Now he relished her stars and the autumn wind, took comfort when she cast her cloudy hair. He thanked her for letting the sun thread through it. The sky was young then, her pride overgrew, watered with earnest praise. So when, he watched him, when she watched him plant his forests and watched the trees grow tall where he placed them, the sky thought to impress him by planting her own. 
The lightning arm she gently lowered, and a great tree of scarlet was born. But it was a greedy tree. It grew and grew, and grew so large it consumed the forest the squirrel had planted. And without time for a word, words took much longer to say in those days, it swallowed the squirrel's body too. Saddened, and seeing that her hubris had ruined the earth, she poured all the star wine from her great bowl, and it fell as rain, dousing the flames ever after. The rain will come when a wildfire somewhere might threaten to engulf the world. It's a story I remember, and this place remembers. It's a piece of here, something left behind. What's that mean? Stories of fire, you don't hear them? They leap and lick at my imagination. At this altar, once, people would gather and tell them. But they're dead now. Those people are dead. The flame somehow endures. Kasim, come away, you should be burning. How are you not? Listen, I'm going to let it touch me. Wow. You're entranced, aren't you, Kasim? You're not thinking straight, so Erina can leap to intercede, or... My boy Kasim can reach into the flame. One, two, three, Erina leaps. Four, five, six, Kasim reaches. It's a two. Erina, watch out. Wake up, I'm saying. Huh? What? Thwomp. Hiss. Erina, you're burning. Up. Erina, here on the ground. Throwing herself down, Erina rolls over and, will, and rolls, rolls over and over while Kasim and Ark try to slap out the flames. Moments later, she's dirty and dishevelled, but mostly unhurt. So, mind explaining what you found so appealing about that bonfire? Appealing's not the right word. It was weird. I could feel it calling out to me. A primal thing. It didn't feel foreign. The opposite, really. It wasn't asking me for anything. The one asking was me. And answering me were voices, dead voices, stories still glowing like last night's coals. Tearing bracket and the mechanical mash of gears announcing a nearby enemy. Sorry, sounds like we're out of time. Talk later. It's what becomes of stories, I suppose. Monuments marking old boundaries of imagination before we ventured beyond them. I'll struggle not to wonder, well, but struggling is better than drifting. Legacy point one. We avoided a fiery transformation. Here we go. Now are these three strong enough to replace... Oh, I've got Jump Jolt now. Four ma oh, five magic damage. Not really worth using, to be fair. Go for that Weldling. Could do Quelling Moss. My attack does 8 damage. Yeah, let's go for the Butler. Oh. I'm not close enough to attack the Butler. Uh, interfuse with... This. And we'll do a Wild Grasp. For four damage. Because he takes one damage, but that's fine. The butler heals himself. Oh, and heals the watchman. Have to kill the wardrobe, right? Get him out of here. God damn it, I keep forgetting. I can't attack diagonally. Do that just to kill the Weldling, because that fire will be a nuisance. Oh, it takes two damage, could be worse. Cassine takes one damage. Alright, we're getting through this guy now. Wild Grasp. 
Oh, with the stun, it's a kill. Nice. Um, a little bit worried about Ark. Ooh. More enemies here than I was hoping to see. Okay, so I should be able to heal you and attack interfuse. Splinter Blast. Yep, sure. Might be able to attack everyone here, to be fair. Oh, no, I can't attack. A little bit worried for Ark here. Good dodge. Magic Armor. No damage. Good block. He's clamped. Takes three damage. Ooh. Erina just jumped through the fire. Right now, it's worth it. Um, let's get you to step back. Sorry, Erina. I think everyone here dies now. To poison. Oh, damn it. Luckily that healing waters heals him every turn, so Ark's somewhat safe. Block the fire as well. Well, jeez, that was a little bit scary. But we're okay. Maybe a three-way level up. Ooh, we'll take it. Ark and Eren are both level four. Crazy that Kasim's like 80 years old. And he's only level four. What should I give to Ark? Um, yeah, let's give him aid as well. Erina, you can get... Um, Erina can start a fire. Yeah, we'll upgrade Blood Rage. We get a cloak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? This will be just between Erina, Ark, and Kasim. So one, two is Erina. Three, four is Ark. Four, five, six is Kasim. There you go, Kasim. Nice. Oh, wardrobes have 25% more health. That's kind of crazy. So you three, please. Take your time. Do your thing. Meanwhile, our four aren't quite there yet. Brand's still 47 days away. Luna and Brand are rivals. Right, what item did we get out of here? Again, this will be between Kasim, Ark, and Erina. So we'll roll. It's going to be the second one, so Ark. Magic Armor. Now these three aren't fully healed yet, so instead of going to the next fight, let's just uh, get some more materials. Meanwhile, looks like the place where a supple-mouthed wanderer encounters a tall and gritting glox. From the bowed grey grasses of the flatlands, now up to the brush-strewn knolls, they've tracked their deepest quarry. The drag-footed possession, 
procession has left an easy trail to follow, strewn with bull garbage. That wild shrine. The map placed it hereabouts, maybe? Love, not usually want to say this, but you could wait for the others, couldn't you? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Something's dead up ahead of us. Carrion birds. And more. I heard an oxhorn call. End or beginning of a hunt, I think it must mean. Also a broken snare. Stuffed in a foxhorn bush. This morning, looked like an animal chewed it through. Could have said something sooner, at least to me. Don't be arguing, you two. It never does anyone any good. The air is heavy. No threat of rain. Just low-beaten clouds. Massed and crawling under summer heat. My dad's not far back. Were you noticing the birds? Uh, basically. Ooh. Uh, let's see what let's see what happens. Let's roll the dice. It's gonna be a four. Better just focus on not getting killed. Foes get plus one health. But we get stoicism. Which means something good, I'm sure. Oh, we all get plus one armor. Nice. Good job, Luna. Get him, Viv. Oh, there's more over here. You know what? We might as well leave that door closed. And just push fighting this way. Oh, Bran. You've got no range, have you? What's a blood link? Oh, I can throw my spear. Nice. Good job. But it's not over yet. We've got another one to sort out. Two damage. Pretty impressive. So far, so good. Didn't mean to swap my weapon. Seven damage. Five. Not going to kill either way. So what was the blood link? Mingle a warrior's life energy with an ally. One damage for attacks against the ally will be redirected to Bran. That is good. So Bran can take the hit for someone else. But... It's more of a move to use when someone else is close to dying. <laughs> Zero damage to everyone. Pathetic. Good kill, Bran. Um. I'll tell you what, the deepest, if that's what they're called. Might be the least intimidating enemy in the game. Um, probably safe to go around this way, right? Oh, two slingers. What are they? Oh, three of them. Surely this is the last three, right? And I'd love to say we can kill them all on this turn. Oh, I forget. I've got a range issue. Nice. I mean, this should be easy from now on, right? Unless there's more in the darkness, but I doubt it. Thirteen. Nice. Ah, oh, it's not over yet. 
Who else is in the darkness? Throw an ambush there in case someone is close. Huh. Bit of a waste of an ambush. Hello? I'm so confused. That's someone in this far corner. Might as well push ahead. I'm so confused. Does am I Where am I missing? Unless there's someone here that's been following us and we've just like... Yeah, this guy's been chasing us the whole time. He just went around the other way. My bed. A shame. Screw it. Let's just get close. Hit him. I wanted to like, lure him into the ambush, but. Luna, can you finish this? Viv, can you reach? No. Nice. Stealthy boy from the back. Viv might level up, but I doubt it. No. I Bran for a level one. That's pretty good. So this will go between the uh, the guys here. So Bran, Haddison, Haddian, Luna. Who else? Oh, and Viv's here as well. Okay. So between one and four. It's a two. It will be Hadion. There you go. By battle's end, the day is more painted than real. Death litters the darkening earth. Is it? Is that it? Is it quiet? They split to cover more ground, sweeping the woods for surviving cultists. I don't see movement. Oh, but there's a slump thing. Hmm. It lies still and stiff. Cut by deepest swords, pierced and battered, a couple limbs hanging wrong. A strange, magnificent, empty-eyed beast. There's motion on the mossy floor. <gasps> oh! Hey, what? I see it. Seems to be our deepest. Seems, seems to be what our deepest hunted. And here's also its cub. Cultists appear to have enjoyed themselves. Hey, so sad. Don't say stuff like that, Bran. Can you maybe put the spear away at this point? Huh? Oh. Then it shouts. A shocking, strong sound to come from such a smaller thing. For a time, there seems no appropriate move to make. But finally, Hadi and Shrugs. Oh well, it's hard. Anyway, Viv's gone to the woods fringe. Might have caught stragglers. Scouts, we're supposed to beat him. Roll? 91% chance. For Luna to be its mother. But we'll roll. One, two, three, four, or five, six. Ah, oh, It'll find a way to survive. Or it won't. That's the price of being wild and free. Noticing suddenly its audience, the beastling shrinks behind its mother's cold body. If you feel... Mm, I don't know. I guess I don't really know what to do. Or what a person... Or what a good person does. Nowadays, when I feel like that, I'm glad I have you to trust. And though I'm sorry, my apologies would only serve to comfort me. Just grow big and fast them, and don't ever be caught by anyone. Hmm. In the night. I'm glad they let it be. You know, love? How you said that thing about the price of being wild and free? Well, I mean, what's freedom worth if it means you never get any help? I'm struggling with that, and... I don't know, even for bears. Or other 
mostly solitary beings. It's too early in life to be alone. Ah, I'm sure he'll be fine. The deepest are stronger. And you guys, comb through the area. Tannery job is complete. Now by the time these three have scouted this next area, they should have fully healed. They're only there. Yeah, Kasim's one health away from being full. We've had an incursion. But that's on the other side. Oh, there's two incursions. But for now, we'll worry about Ark, Erina, and Kasim. Brother, sister, and wise old friend. Old form caverns stretch beneath Leaf Heart Stack. Prefer you weren't lagging back there, Kasim. Oh, is he even following? Only their back barking echoes answer them. Wait, where's Kasim? Oh, you were just in front of him. And I don't see him along the walls, right? How often does this happen? They scour their steps for the last sign of Kasim. Here's what we expect to see a branching way, an almost triangular crevice, and beyond it is a tight, twisting tunnel. Below them, in the coldening ground, in the fungal glow. And you know how I am to gaze in the eyes of a mystery. And not trouble it for its name. I'd be sleepless for weeks. So I hope you'll forgive me. Another small absence. Under blade sharp stones, a wider space, a firmer shine. There's a powerful smell. A heart smell. The heart of the mountain. And at first glance, he thinks a massive grey man is hunched over a blue white flame. But he realises, by any gods at all, what is this? Solemn rock cut and graven. How many secrets does the hill keep? Under graves, in dead jaws, in the yawn of his caves. I am curious about even just the origins, the significance of what you're holding. We'll roll. Well, let's not upset gods of unknown temper. Kasim pays it small honour and goes. It really is a small gesture. You'd look good with cats climbing you, I think. He pours a circle of moonshine on the ground before a wi its wide and awe-dressing scowl, and then he leaves. It's odd. Hollowness is all that's down here, even in his chest just now. He feels there's only an echo of his heartbeat. Kasim? Kasim? Who's that? It's Ark. I got the job to collect you. I guess someone has to. Reunited, they move on, and soon emerge to fight another desperate fight. But ever and after, tucked underground, a stone shearing god will dream of him, and Kasim will be protected. Ah. Kasim's the main character. Oh, my dice is still on the screen, I'm so sorry. Kasim's the main character. For sure. Alright, we've got another fight. Um. Erina doesn't have a bow or anything. So she's gonna have to do a, a jump jolt. Could poison. Can't shoot, so we'll have to poison. And then our third hero. Interfuse. Eight damage. Yep, sounds good to me. Not bad. Oh, he's dead. Oh, ha, ha. Thanks for the poison. Hello, butler. Okay. Okay. Six against three. Finally, a fair fight. Twelve damage from Erina. Very good job. I'm going to back arc up all the way because I want him to shoot here with his bow. Ooh. Uh, we're going to interfuse with... Oh. It's a bit risky, but we're going to interfuse with this. Because a bone lance can probably... Hmm. Not the two enemies I wanted to go for. 
Well, I had to get two of them in one hit. Kasim takes one damage. He's definitely in harm's way now. Aaron takes three damage. Ah, oh, more enemies. Very good. Ooh, three damage to Kasim. And another enemy enters the fold. And another two damage to Kasim. Oh. Okay. Let's control Kasim first. And we'll move south. The Bone Lance can only attack one person. So we'll do the Discus instead. Got one kill, that's good enough. We'll do healing waters on yourself. Um, I feel like... Yeah. At least I've killed one and done damage to the other. A normal shot would have just killed one, you know? Oh, that would have killed Kazim. Ooh. That was scary, but Kasim is fine. For now. Um, let's get Erina right in amongst it. Chance to stun enemies within range. I can do that and attack, which is good. Flip. Um. Hmm. Let's back up. Could do a bone lance on this guy. We'll interfuse with buckets and do a discus against you. Could have killed the weldling to be fair. Could see with another dodge. And a block. Very good, guys. Very good. Oh. Oh. Okay, if I interfuse with... With this. If this lands, it should kill both. There's one. And there's the other. Sweet. Well, Erin, I could only attack this batch beat any five damage. <laughs> Holy crap! Nice. Might take a while to recover, but we are still alive. And it looks like Kasim levels up to level five. Um, what would I prefer here? Bone collector. Creates a bone and iron construction that helps during battles in other unpleasant activities. The bone construction fights and acts as a hero. Ooh. Sounds good to me. And this will be between Erina, Ark, and Kasim. So 1, 2, 3 for Erina, 4, 5, 6 for Ark. Okay, so 4, Ark, there you go. More health for you, sir. Nothing moving in here. I think it's time to head back. The attic is all that's left, where it costs us more than a few minutes. Above the ground floor is a weather burnt room. Guess no one lived here in a while. Hey, come look at this. Someone died? What killed him? Uh, well, yeah, but also no. I mean, look. The shield. The Knights of Starlock, our forerunners in many ways. They brave perilous wilds, repelled the wicked things that threatened fledgling towns. Among the dark. Dirk Tumold was famed for two things. The song she sang the char where she charged into battle and the dragon's paw, her shield. I think this is it. In the end, though, I guess it didn't really save her, did it? Now, I would give it to Ark. 
It seems hands are full. And everyone has only got one hand because of a lightning arm. It's got to go to Bran, right? Or Viv. I know Viv's got a two-handed uh, two spear, so yeah. Bran. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Good job, team. So you guys... Investigate the area. You guys have secured this place. What item did you get? Pauldrons. This will go to uh, Viv or Hadian or Luna or Bran. So one, two, three for Luna, four, five, six for Bran. Going to Luna. Nice. And now you three, uh, you, you four, sorry. To the next area. Cancel the mortar guy upgrades. And the next fight begins. Just making sure everyone's at full health, which they are. The blind and its position have meant survival. A lot of winters. It's fed us wood folk and for six generations, at least. It's up this way. See how the grass is crushed? We've all got gentler feet than that. Here, I'll stand by you. My spear's solid. Son, is that man saying something to you? Uh, I'm what they call Hill Hardy. Tough. He wants to fight next to us. Don't know what the we should refuse, I guess. And you know, my husband, Pam Deer, breads our table. Down this path, I hack away the spider thorn. By evening, let's bring a good man some good news. Some good news. Tall trees nod and sway in the stirring breeze. A latening light. We can either leave him behind, or bring him along for this fight. Let's roll. Sorry, old man. No, I'm not escorting old sisters to their deaths. Oh, really? And what claim do you have here? This is the high forest I was born to. Born to live among and look after. Wants to know what claim you have, Dad. Have an answer? I'm not going to argue with you back and forth just to satisfy your pride or whatever this is. If you think it's worth dying and leaving your husband alone, that's your call. Hey Viv, slow down. We're able folks. <laughs> what am I even going to say? Go on then, and good good luck. They start towards the Quinn blind, but the man finds another reason to pipe up. Well, but wait. Our craft in this wood, he offers a small item. We're not getting away from you unhelped, are we? This guy brings up the rear, does he? Can see why. Scary face. Hey, leave Howdy here. How are you doing? Uh, this can go to anyone. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go, Erina. Physical damage. We're, we're steamrolling this this chapter so far, I'll tell you what. Got a cheeky little leaf spirit. Um, The wardrobe definitely needs to go first. Cool, zero damage. You love to see it. Because the wardrobe's going to keep on spawning more enemies in. Brand, be a darling and finish this. Good job. Nice. Here they come. Um... Let's see, we can do three, three, or four. We'll do four. With a stunt. And we've pinned this guy. Easy kill for Viv. Easy shot for Hadian. And... Should be an easy kill for Bran. Oh, we're sick. We're going to be just fine. I think we might have over-recruited for this story, but... 
Hey, it means we get to do it a little bit faster. Um, yeah, let's just have a shot. Okay, we've missed. Oh, there's more. Awesome. Can Brian get close enough? No, but I think he can throw the spear. Blocked, very good. Oh, he's going to get some bonus health now. Two damage to Viv. He can take that. Four damage to Viv. Another turn like that and Viv dies. Not bad. Um, get out of here. Stunt would kill. Oh. And Bran, protect your father. Epic. And he dodges the attack. If that's it, that was a very easy fight. Incredible. Incredible. I think that's a level up for Viv as well. Brian is still only level 1. Um, once per combat as a swift action, grant 50 stun chance. It's definitely good if I remember. I'll do broad swipes instead. That's a passive. Um, his armor is pretty much the same for everyone. Salvage it. So you guys are going to need a little bit of time to heal. Uh, you guys do that. Meanwhile, you guys have finished securing this area. What item did we get? A belt. One, two, three, four, five. Three. That'll be Erina. More health for you. And then we can move these three, even though they're not at full health just yet, to the next area. <gasps> Whoosh! Holding on. Uh, yeah. Above the grassy stretches of er emerald heather plains rise barren bluffs crowned with wind-torn rocks, arid and unlivable. They nonetheless make attractive vantage points from the which to view the land. I see what the trail warden meant, how swiftly the wind changes. Arbitrary, she called it. It's a good word. Yeah, um, but it's not going to be like twisters, right? It won't get much too worse. Hmm? Oh. Over here, Ark. You want to see this for yourself? It's a creature's crumpled remains, resting in the shade between boulders. The bones are maggot clean. That's, is it? Hmm, a drow. He's a smaller one, a fledgling. Maybe just received his wings, and then got caught in a sudden squall. Dragged his battered body this far, out of the sun. Don't want to imagine the rest, really. Though, the wings look alright. But then, shouldn't we be worried? Weren't supposed to be drawn in these parts, I thought. Hmm. Actually, I think this confirms that there aren't. Think, if there were others, this one would have been found. And so, they wouldn't have left him behind, you're saying. We all have our ways to honour our fallen. If they couldn't bear the body away, they would have performed a funeral right here. Wouldn't leave him like this. One of their wing knights. Hmm. It's in a moment of quiet that the dirt at their feet begins to swirl and the breeze picks up. Whoosh! It's a short but powerful gust, whipping and wailing among the peak stones. And then abruptly it dies down. They rub away the dust that covers their eyes. They rub away the dust that covers their eyes and look around. Feels that like the wind once is gone. Yeah. Now, we've already had this cutscene, and I forget who it was, but someone in the previous story had drawn wings. So let's see if it happens again. It will. Would it be wild to try and wear them? Does that sound weird? I mean, if someone else wants to do the detaching part. Carefully, they loosen the straps that tie the wings to the wearer. Lift this now, or... It's not that uncommon dream. Flight. Flying. You wonder how long they've worked at it. 
What sort of minds they had. What sort of... I don't know. You do wonder. Yeah, you do. Do I? It's a few... It's a few jostle bones later. They're able to pull the flight harness free. Then one of us is really going to wear these wings. I thought we already decided. No? I will... I will roll the dice, but Ark should have them. Unfortunately, it's going to Erina. They return their way home, reaching the Trail Warden's camp by nightfall. You came back with wings. Gusts were high, otherwise the land was quiet. No fight here, which is awesome. Gives the guys time to rest and recover. We'll get some hides. And we've securely secured the security. Got some bracelets. One, two, three, four, five. It's a two. Arc. There you go, son. Looks nice. Now we could tell these four to intercept these guys. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Gather. Defend. Why not? The mortal have come. Glinting metal dulls as they scuttle from sun to shade, but their morbid geometry has always been easy to distinguish. How should the defenders respond? Viv, I'm glad you're here. We'll roll. We've got the third option. A 61% chance. Stay hidden until the last moment. Fight with cunning. Hadian is a smart man. Will his plan work? Concealed amid their surroundings, they elude the frustrated eyes of their enemy. Choosing the moment to strike is up to them. Wait for it. Nice. So we start invisible and flanking attacks do plus two damage. We've got Varlad Storm and Horn Flutter and Terma Flutter. There are two enemies. Uh, Luna. Just... Five damage. Four damage, yeah. So let's just shoot. Also, I've never seen this enemy before. A coachman. Kind of scary. We've also got this door to defend. If I can't attack, we might as well wait. Can't attack anyone. Um, Hadin, you can attack whoever you want, really. Might as well help against this guy. Oh, there's a butler here as well. Ah, oh, and another wardrobe. Oh. Um. Two stone. Five damage. You showed that butler what for? What even kill? A shame. Awesome. Uh, the fire might kill, but it might just take away his magic armor. Hello, Watchman. <gasps> Timer! They are here. Butler sucked up the fire. Good. Uh, well, you're you're gone.
Um, get him, Horn. Nice. Get him, Terma. Uh, Viv, you can hold this this entrance here. Rats, thought I was gonna do bits. Tava! No! Poor horn. We have a look. Oh. They were related, Horn and Terma Flutter, but I guess because they're not in our team, it won't give us the details. Um, should have changed my weapon. Oh, I can shoot. Uh, ooh, Horn. He's got to hold the south entrance by himself for now. I'll move through and attack this one with the big stun. It's a one-hit kill and kills this guy as well for some reason. We'll take it. Um, yeah, let's give some support to Horn. Get rid of this wardrobe eventually. Can't throw my spear because I'm too close. Spend one action and wait for the enemy to strike. Blocks the next attack. Oh. No point in blocking the next attack because I'm still invisible. Easy dodge. Oh, get the counter. Bran, I thought you were in guardian mode. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Uh, Luna. Good. It's all you, Horn. Blocked, good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> this turn's been a bit of a write off. Good job, Varlad. Horn, you've got this, bro. Varlad, a little bit more nervous about you. Oh, well, yep. God, that wardrobe is is a problem. Three damage for Viv. Um, I need my two archers to give Bran some backup here. Good job, Horn. Big. Huge. We're getting there. Three enemies left. Which will be four, because the wardrobe will summon more. Get Luna to come and help out. Good. I sent Horn as well. Maybe I can get Hadian to finish this guy. Uh, 
Very good. A Vow Lad is giving some good backup to Bran here. Throw the spear. Nice. Hopefully next set I can reach him. Vow Lad, no! Oh, probably should have attacked that one. It's just these three left, I believe, so... Might as well force people forward. Easy kill for Hadian. Um... Horn, stay strong. In fact, Horn, do one further and finish this. Good job. He should level up, really. He deserves it. Nice. Bran has leveled up. Let's give him hardiness. More health. Alrighty. So these four... Let's gather here. Um, in fact, yeah. I want everyone to gather there, really. But I guess we'll send these three. Oh, Hadian receives a challenge from the past. See, this is good because now Hadian can go away with some people and the rest of them can carry on with the main mission. And the next thing you know, the homunculus has lost track of time and he's like, oh, nuts, I've got a book club to get to. Hold those entrails for me. Haha. <laughs> huh? Hadian. Luna, you look good today. So, you're saying I don't look good normally? Oh, classic. I, I, know, I know this face. Anyway, I wanted to find you, because look, any idea what this note means? Who blinks first? Who gave this to you? Somebody must have seen you enter my room. It was under my door, but your name's on the back. It came with a map. A map? Yes, a map. Here, you take it. It's not meant for me. And there he goes. I mean, honestly. Neither of us can resist an adventure, can we? Got to do a little side quest. And you know what? Because he's given us Ark, Ark can go with him. Which actually means... Uh... Oh god, I'm so confused now. Ark... So, so, Ark, Hadian, and Luna. So, these four. So this fellow used to pick on you. This... Dwiger Fay. Wish I'd been there for you. Well, I used to give as much as I got, to be honest. Not that I enjoyed it. Well, okay, what it was, we had this game we would play to challenge each other. A blinking game. Doesn't sound inherently vicious. What kind of rules did you have? What? There weren't any rules? Well, the whole point was about you're put in a situation and whoever blinks first loses. So that meant... Just going farther and farther until one of you back down, right? Basically. So, something happened. What was it? Oh, um, well, last time it happened, I ended up winning. But something went wrong. I didn't mean for Dwiger to get hurt quite so badly and... Whoa. Well, yeah. I'm not always good at understanding where lines are drawn. And so, anyway, I haven't seen him or heard from him since that time. Luna? Are you serious right now? I should just let you go through with this? So, I'm Hadian. I've got this weird fascination with a guy from the past. We tried to hurt each other and often succeeded. Hey, he sent me a party invitation. I guess I'll stumble into his trap now. Did I miss anything? How about the part where I didn't ask you to come with me? <gasps> Click. Luna? Luna's foot has pressed a concealed trigger. Removing it will likely spring a hidden trap. Any shift of weight, any movement might release it. 
we'll roll. Six. Just hold on, I'll look for a way to disarm it. Luna, unable to remain motionless any longer, attempts to throw her body clear. A bolt fly flies from a concealed mechanism in a nearby stump. Luna! She rolls to her feet, bleeding profusely, but still breathing. Well, that'll be a scar. It's not over yet. Always one more wrinkle. Here we go. Uh, well, no enemies yet, to be fair. Now, I've always said this, but uh, side quest fights are usually very easy. Very simple, straightforward. This might be the, the only three enemies in the fight. Oh, I just realised. We've got three hunters in this fight. We are the masters of range. Whoa. Nice. Might as well just finish the worldling. Good job, Ark. What is he going to go for? Holy moly. Six damage, thanks to the lover's vengeance. Um, probably better off swapping weapon. Attacking with a spear for five. Swapping weapon. Getting with a flank attack. Nice. Times two damage. For some reason, we'll take it. And we get a level up for Luna and Hadian. Good. A blue horn wanter. A blue horn wanter. A blue horn hunter. Um, let's go for the upgraded trap. And we'll go... Sharpshooter. We've got some knee pads. One, two, three, four, five. It's a two. Erina, there you go. More physical damage for you. By nightfall, Luna's wound is staunched. A fire gnaws on logs. She gazes into the flames. At least I've earned some pity points. I just did more. I just did one more sweep of the area. Didn't you say you wouldn't have stuck around? Well, sure, but anyway, just making sure. Don't blame yourself. Hey, it's okay. I'm all right. You feeling bad about it just makes it worse. Look, I don't know what comes next. It shouldn't be your price to pay, but do I go fay? Always better stock in fairness, balance. So perhaps. Perhaps it's over. Score settled. And by perhaps you mean, if he doesn't let it go. I'll tell you this, Luna. Today, we call it over. If he disagrees anyway, you don't have to worry about it. The fire shrinks until it's just small blooms of orange light, splitting coals and quickly wilting. They lie together in the warmth, and later they sleep. Neither will ever hear from Dwega Fay again. And Hadian levels up because he finished a side quest. Incredible. Divine Athlete. That's a new one. Hadian converts physical damage to magic damage. No, I don't care about that. Let's upgrade Sharpshooter. More range. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused about who's going where. It looks like we're just about to have a defense. Uh, only Bran and Viv can get involved because they're there. So let's do that defense. The Mortigai have come. How is... Uh... So Bran's at full health. Viv's a little bit hurt. How should the defenders respond? Dad, today's not your day, alright? We will roll. It's going to be the last option. Stay hidden, always seems to work. And the same thing as before. They stay concealed, it works. The time to attack is theirs to make. Kill all enemies, more are coming. We're a bit split up. We've got quite a lot of uh, villagers here. Very important that we stay concealed.
for now. Mornia, you can have the first strike. Aim. You can go north with Bran. I won't do any volley of arrows until we can get multiple enemies in the attack. And now Viv is here. He has made himself known. Viv takes two damage. He's walking for the for the whole area for no reason. Oh man, he was only going for for the one person there. Okay, Viv. Is it your turn? Hmm. Throw my spear. There's a kill. You love to see it. Uh, could do a volley of arrows. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Release flight. And we can attack as well. Okay. Let's get you out of the flames. Awesome. Aim. Four damage. Ignored armor because we're sneaking. Only got villagers defending the uh, west side, but that might be fine. It depends what pops up in this area right here. Zero damage. Pathetic Samelia. That's fine. Good dodge. It's like another wardrobe just got involved. There's no one here, but someone's about to appear, so all I can really do is prepare everyone here. Goodbye, Budler. Only five damage. Um, aim. Oh, she can still reach. Let's go. Three damage. Oh, another wardrobe. A little bit scared for Bran. Oh, aim takes five damage and she is done. One hit. One hit or quit her. Why is no one appearing here? It's really annoying. Oh my god. And it's gone. No one's going to appear here. Okay, sweet. I've wasted someone's turn. Uh, I'm going to leave Dwellwain to attack the Somalia. I'm going to send a hail of arrows right here. Archers! It'll do. And enter Sentinel. Bran is having a time. Let's see what Dwell Wayne can do. Incredible. Um, no. No one's attacking anyone over here. Anytime soon. Oh, blocked. It takes another damage. There are three wardrobes in the fight right now. 
Bran takes two. Good old Vaughn. Um, good old Havwit. I mean, there's not much I can really do. We're going to have to just thin the numbers. Here comes Dwayne Wayne. Chill, welcome to the stream. Um, her. I mean, not much, but took cover anyway. Good lord. This fight gets longer and longer. Good block from Bran. We have to prioritise killing the wardrobe. Oh my god, that fire's spreading. Um, go on, have wit. Oh. Archways. It's good. It's good. And then we can attack, right? Um, there we go. Don't know why he took one damage, but we'll take it. And Bran. Oh, come on. Um, might as well get a kill rather than to do one damage to someone. The worst thing is, is once this fight's over, it won't count for all these little enemies we've killed. That just still counts as one enemy because the wardrobe's spawning them. My boy Vaughn can't do anything. Have wit. Another kill for you. Viv. Gotta go straight for the wardrobe at this point. Nice. Now we're on cleanup crew over here. Um, we can start chipping away at this guy's health. Can't get any kills. Maybe a stunt? No. Two damage to Mornia. Oh, Mornia's gone! No, Mornia! It's so sad. Died protecting her home. You can't let her death be in vain. Okay, all we can do is keep on moving towards... Ooh. Uh, Archers! We killed this guy, I guess. Didn't do any damage to anyone else. And we can attack. It'll do. Um... I mean, Viv, unfortunately. Oh, I know Viv. You've got a crossbow. I can move you up and not feel bad about it. Uh, Bran, don't lose focus on the goal. Keep on attacking the wardrobe. Vaughn, finish the weldling. We're doing it. We're doing it. Um, 
little bit scared. I guess I'm not scared. I don't think any of the main guys are going to die. Rats. This Somali is going to kill one of them. Unless... Oh, how do I not have a shot on that? On this guy? I mean, I guess I can extinguish. This fire's going to be out in no time. The wardrobe is gone, finally. Nice. Dalwain's been a bit of, been a bit of an I can't even talk. Dalwain has been a bit of an MVP. <laughs> nice. They survived. Amazing. Might as well for fun. Archers. Rain hell. End your turn. Uh, yeah, go on then, Viv. If you can get it, you might as well. For you! That was a long fight. Oh, yeah, I forgot only Viv and Bran were my boys in that fight. Alrighty. There's still, there's still a fair few fights to, uh, to get through here. I'm a little bit confused about who's where now. So everyone that's hurt... I don't know who's going where, so... Take all this off. Ah. Everyone that's hurt... Focus on just... Rebuilding Greenweaver. And everyone that's not hurt... Can scout the next area. Good job. Anyone who's not hurt. So what we'll do is... Anyone that's hurt. Oh, it's just Kasim. Kasim and Hadin, because you're the two guys that aren't here. Look at that, everyone's here. Meanwhile... You want to attack with all five here? What do you see, Ark? Nothing good. Oh, nothing remotely sturdy, anyway. Do you see a way down? Not really. If there is one, we'll have to look further south. Maybe we can go over one at a time? I think a finch's weight on that thing would collapse it. Could we use ropes to get down? Oh, maybe we can try and fix the bridge. We do have some. We have. To, we do have to come back this way. The discussion continues. <gasps> Viv. Viv, no, he's not going to make it. Oh, he's fine. Should should we try it? Let's let's roll. A five. That is a five. Technically, it says right there in the middle. That's the. All right. I have another idea. Timber. Wow. This is crazy. You'll be okay, Arctus. Don't look down. Pretty sly, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, totally. If they didn't know we were coming before, they sure do now. Oh, Bran. You loud person. I haven't fought with a team of five in a while, though, so this should be fun. Seven damage with a stunt. Luna, good job. Irina, get in. Get in amongst it. Good job. Viv. Two damage. Incredible. Oh, five damage with a stunt. We'll take it. 
Didn't know I could throw my spear that far. Eight damage. The coachman definitely does scare me because he's got the uh, a big area attack which could do a little bit of damage to everyone involved. Two poison damage. Not going to kill him. Bloody close though. That could be worse. He could have got a lot more of us in that. Oh, good. There's a wardrobe involved. I thought he was going to die to the fire then. Okay, not too bad. Um, let's just shoot this guy and miss. Good. Let's go over here. Let's do a thunder stomp. Both dodged it, but it's fine because I still get to attack. Okay, good. Missed. He's going to die to poison, right? So I guess we'll just open this door. I can sh yeah, why not? Claim a kill, you know? Uh Bran's got nothing rangy. Arc on the other hand. Could do a quelling moss. Unfortunately that would poison everyone, including Erina. So we'll just shoot and get blocked. Your move, skeleton robots. Oh, everyone has taken four damage so far. Good block there, bro. Okay. Let's get Luna around here. God damn it. Um, honestly, I'll put you here for now, Erina. Kill the Weldling. Viv, you can push in. Start making your way towards the wardrobe. Brand, unfortunately, you just have to take the fire damage here. Push through. Um, I can angle arc to get an arrow shot in there as well. Seven damage plus two poison. Good block. Good block. Didn't block, but didn't get hurt. Good stunt attack. Very good. Let's go straight for the wardrobe. So here we stun the wardrobe. I will hit it. But it can't summon anyone next turn, which is good. I think next turn, Viv and Erina will finish these two. I don't think Bran will kill the Watchman next turn, though. Awesome kill there. Ooh, another three damage to Erina. That's actually very scary. Takes another hit like that and she's doomed. Luckily that won't happen. Maybe. Well, the wardrobe's gone. On Viv. Finish it. Nice. Uh, there's got to be a way I can angle a shot here. Of course. And I think it's over. Oh. Where have you been hiding then? Oh. Very good. Um, do aid. You can't do aid in yourself. Interesting information. 
Not gonna be able to shoot anyone. Uh, Bran. No point. Whoops, assault weapon. Strike with your twin daggers. Do I, is it damage time two because I've got daggers? Because I've got an offhand dagger? Who knows? Brand levels up. Um, ooh, more health and recovery rate and retirement age. And we get a necklace. One, two, three, or four. It's a three. It's Hadians. Have more health for your son. Uh, so what we're going to do here is everyone that's hurt is going to do that. Um, I guess we'll just build another bridge. <laughs> Just to give the guys who aren't doing anything something to do. A power up. Uh, cancel the mortar guy. Ah. This is it. There'll be one more fight, and then, and then it'll be time. For the final battle of the final chapter of the Enduring War playthrough. Come on, what item did we get? A belt. One, two, three, or four. Hadian. Hadian will retire. I mean, Viv will retire. That is surprising. How old is Viv? 48? Wow, he's retiring very early. Um, I guess we'll keep on waiting. Okay, so anyone who's not building that second bridge, press forward. Here we go, the penultimate fight. Okay, I've got one. Favourite fruit. Oh dear. Blueberry? Blackberry? Cranberry? One of the berries, probably. Ah, I remember that now. Okay, my turn. Favourite thing to fight. That's like asking my favourite rash. <laughs> Least favourite, then. Might have to be the Draven. Is that because they're over the next hill? It's a beast or a construct that blindly that's just blindly destroying. But Draven, when you get close enough to look into their eyes, you see hatred staring back at you. And here I am, making a career out of them. As old as I'm getting, sometimes I wonder if it's not too late to start over somewhere. I wouldn't, though, realistically. I'd reek of, it'd reek of abandonment. Well, we appreciate that. What about you? What keeps you here? Come on, we'll roll. What what keeps Ark here? Honestly, sheer terror. It's shameful, but I may be in this for my own sake more than I'd care to admit. A sense of self-preservation can crack a long whip. The heroic veneer only goes so deep. No, no, I respect that. Diplomatic of you. I'm not exactly a pillar of shining light myself. Got enough enemies out there. Don't make yourself one too. Fine, draw them to a fine job of that. We're getting close. Insight. Stunt chance doubled. Oh, this is going to be e. Oh, it's a longer fight. Okay, it's a longer room than I thought, but it's still going to be easy, I think. Luna. Amazing. Already got a stunt. Now, annoyingly... I have to waste an attack on this guy. Oh! I got him. I thought he would have had the spectre step. Oh my god. Killing everyone. Oh my god. 
Every attack's been a stunt. We are one tapping everything here. Hey, the poison will kill. That still counts as a one hit kill. <laughs> Look at them. They try and do their own thing and they miss. Pathetic. Another stunt. Not a kill, but we'll take it. This has gone overwhelmingly over overwhelmingly good so far. Might as well take both turns to move here. There better be something scary in this last room. Otherwise, what's the point? Uh I shouldn't have done that. Open this door. Shoot. Poison will kill. Uh, I'm back to Luna's turn. I didn't use all of Luna's turn. Which I guess is good, but I guess we'll do that. Not really going to help us, though. Do a jump, jolt, Erina. With our lightning arm. Viv's got his little hand crossbow. <gasps> Blocked. Isn't that like 93%? No one's going to step in this ambush area. Oh. Oh my god. It worked. <laughs> what an absolutely flawless fight. Get ready to be Spectre Step. And now... Just kill him. One hit kill. Easy. Nice. Might even get another level up here. No. Uh. Literally the only... Okay, so we can have the Hadian or Viv. Three. It's going to go to Hadian. Why not? A spear and a loot makes sense, right? In the gorge not far from the scene of battle, Bran and Eren are pick and pry through the remnants of a hastily abandoned dwarven camp. Just a quick search. Promised Argy wouldn't take too long. Shh, you hear that? With cautious steps, they tread further into the gorge to discover... It's people? Sorry, think you could... It's quick work for Eren to break the wooden bars. Bran tidies up the debris as the stranger climbs up to his feet. Though his knees wobble at first, his mind is lucid. Name's Gendium Corn from over those hills. Learned to use a sword same year I learned my letters. Uh, no hurry, but mind if I ask how you got here? It was, let's see, 13 nights ago? Dwarven went for a far fellow ranch. They've been been—they've always been gentle, friendly people. Opened the door to me one night when I was hungry in Roeberry. Never suspected there'd be danger on their doorstep. I need to repay their kindness. Showed up that day to help put out a new stretch of fence. I wanted to keep them safe, tried to lure the Draven away, got in over my head. Honestly, I thought it was the end, said my goodbyes in silence, but for some reason they just bound my hands and took me with them. Wonder what they wanted with the hostage. They didn't seem interested in explaining themselves, not that I would have understood. Hmm, yeah. Moon's up, I should ask. What do you mean to do now? We can recruit him. You know, we'll roll. We really don't need another unit, but hey, what for the story? Welcome, Gendium. Phew. Heard something coming. Thought it might be bears. Well, we have to shovel things around. There's six of us now. I'm Gendium. Besides a roaring fire, stories are shared and new friendships take root. The vanguard of the demon got a nice ring to it. Gendium, you've joined this whole story for one more fight. And he's level zero as well, so he's not even really worth using. We will get rid of his last name, though, because Corn is a terrible last name. I want to have a look at his history. Merchants were always passing through Gendium's hometown. 
They gambled and sang, filled his head with maps, treasures and tunes. A caravan of bankers recruited him for his talent at mending coin boxes and card axles. Unfortunately for the bankers, he who puts it together knows how to pull it apart. Perceiving a world full of light clinging people, he decided to take the journey through darkness on their behalf. 18 years old? Might have to uh, try and remake this guy in the next story. Okay, let's 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 try and be real here. Let's just wait until this bridge is done. There's no point doing securing this site this site because we won't do it in time. We're going to do the last fight of the game, and all I care about is the strongest guys. It's going to be Kasim, Erina, Viv, Hadian, Ark. Yeah, these are all our level 4s and one level 5. So it's going to be the three siblings, Hadian and Kasim. Let's do this. Let's finish this. Every fight so far has been very easy, so can we stick with the same theme? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> The time has come when we draw strength from our bonds and scrape this curse off our land for good. Blades and wits sharp, ready yourselves. We do get to improve our gear for the last fight. I was going to say, I only care about these five that are in the fight, so luckily it's only given me the option to upgrade these guys. I'll start with any tier 1 stuff. I mean, it's all tier 1, right? I could do with uh, maybe a throbbing knife. Sure, that's cool. And now we'll go through everyone and make sure their tier 2 stuff can be upgraded to tier 3. There you go, Ark. We'll do Erina's armor as well. And there you go, Erina. I mean, everyone's armor's tier 2. If we can upgrade all of it to tier 3, that would be great. So far, so good. I might run out of materials before we get to Viv, though. Or maybe not. It was only fabric and spell threads for Kasim's. Nice. Tier 3 armor for everyone. Can we get tier 3 weapons for everyone? Start with Ark's bow. Incredible. Uh, Hadian's offhand spear. Incredible. Um, Viv's crossbow Incredible And then Ark's offhand dagger Oh we can't What about Hadian's throwing knife Nope That's it then We're about as strong as we could possibly be if we fail this fight, then it must be a serious fight. I had been preparing to pay a price for the form I took, a price of flesh and breath. But it cost more than that. It cost peace. It cost the person I loved most. And though Isa and I never spoke again, perhaps the rest of this can still be put right. In the days when the flood of Mortigai had slowed to a trickle, Ark was able to locate an opening in the cliffs. I've seen a lot of things in my life. But this is a whole new manner of thing. Enter the cave. I could use some perspective right about now, Kasim. I've lost my bearings. We're no longer in a world made for people. This is something this is something else is tough. With stone and iron and bone closing in. It can feel unlucky to be made of softer things. But we have the strength of our own. Which should not be underestimated. Let's 
do this. Real quick, as we start this final fight, how old is Kasim? 84. 84 years old. Also, we've got... Ah, we've got the bone construction. So this is the guy that belongs to Kasim. A nice thin corridor to begin our descent into the cave. So far, so good. Two uh, invisible people holding the front line. Um, nothing close enough to interfuse with. Send our front line first. There they are. Dodged the butler. That's a shame. And well, I can't do nothing. I can aid Hadian. But I only have one per fight. Um, we don't want to put Erinor in harm's way for no reason. Eleven damage, awesome. If Hadrian's first attack had landed, that would kill this butler already. Blocked, awesome, perfect start. Okay. Good dodge. They have not hurt any of us yet. Erina, take this large man down. He's not down yet. Viv. Okay. I'll send Hadian around. Firing position. Normal attack will be fine. What about Hadian and Ark side by side? You know what? Actually, I like this. Because now the butler's going to die to poison. I mean, I guess. Why not? It doesn't really matter. He can't do anything else. Interfuse with the rubble. Should be able to do a relatively strong bone lance. I was hoping to hit both of these guys. I can't, I can't target two people wherever I land, which is a bit sad. We kill one, it's good enough. The coachman might do a big area attack on everyone, which kind of worries me. Another block. Zero damage, so far no one's been hurt. <gasps> what now? Oh wait, it's you! We promised aid after all you had done for us, and we keep our promises. This is Krell, right? Krell sends her regards! Yeah! <laughs> Cute. Oh, they're all here. Okay. So Iglor's back, and Krell's minions. Ah! I think I'd rather... Um, attack with my melee. Get this coachman out of here. Six damage. Can I throw the knife and attack? Yes. Move you here, Ark. With the dual daggers. Bellhops can scout ahead. A 
Iglor, Hero. Not bad. Kasim. Can you just kill? Incredible. This wardrobe is going to be absolutely no threat at all. I could try and... Oh, I've stunned him. It doesn't really matter because I've killed him in one. Awesome. Test it. Can we shoot? No, too far away. Was I carry on running up then? I'm hoping that our archers can take care of him. All you, Hadian. Nice. Now everyone else just focus on getting forward to the door. Um, I need to be careful where I put the bell hops because I don't think they can open the door. I mean, maybe they can. Oh, as Hadian reached the door, its eyes snapped onto him and groaned open by itself. Oh dear. It could be debated whether its heaving multi-part construction before them was alive, but it wouldn't matter. Life was a quaint concept to this place. The Mortagi Core. Mortagi. Mortagai. Maybe it is Mortagi, I don't know. Uh, shuddering pipes and pounding gears fill your brain with bursting. And we got two lesser cores. And then some normal enemies as well. But we are all here. Nice, we've all been pushed up. Erina, you first. Ah, we'll get a kill. Uh, cool. Send Viv forward, whip out the spear. Destroy the three cores, mortar guy will keep on coming. Nice. Got the ember shot as well, didn't even realise that. Uh, go on then. Get him out of there. Bone construction. You can't do anything, right? So just push up. Iglor. Can't do anything either. So just push up. Gotta be something I can interfuse with. Barrage could be good. Bone Lance is the one. Oh, but I'm not in a position where I can attack two people at once. Let's go for the main core. Five damage. <laughs> Lol, you can't hurt Iglor. Oh! Okay, these guys can spew enemies out as well. Oh, and it can... Okay. Okay. That's not too bad. I think a wardrobe just got involved as well, which is annoying, but fine. Uh, deals one magic damage. Yeah, I can't walk through it either. I mean, we've got a very large team here of very high-level boys. I think we're going to be just fine. Nine damage from Viv. The bellhops can hardly get in the room. Uh. Yeah, sure, why not? Another seven damage. We'll walk through the acid. And attack. Eight damage plus two poison. Amazing. (laughs) 
Um, interviews with this. How big's the barrage? Oh, very good. Six damage to the core, six damage to the Somalia. Come on, show us what you got. Oh, they can heal it. I didn't realise the... Uh, oh, it's a nurse. There are specific enemies here that heal. Ooh, heals it quite a lot as well. Um, yeah, let's just focus on getting the, the core in the middle broken. Then we'll go for the weakest one first. I mean, my bellhops can't really do much. They can grapple, which I think just means they can't move. Very good. That might be enough to kill all of them. Throw another one just for good measure. We'll grapple with the core I guess. I mean it does shred armour. If I can do like any damage to this guy. No I don't think that nurse is going to die annoyingly. Amazing. Um, interfuse, four damage, four, do the barrage, might be able to attack all three of these guys. Kills the weldling. Are these guys stunned as well? Nice. One core to go. I don't think the nurse can attack. It might just go straight to the um, to healing this one. I mean, annoying. Back to full health, but we'll take it. All right. Let's just focus on the core. Let's finish this. If it, we'll do a thunder stomp for fun, so the wardrobe can't summon anymore. Could kill him. Yeah, screw it. More kills, more stat padding. Go on, Viv. Oh. Can't believe how bad the bell hops are. Someone gave their life for those people to help us. I honestly think that Quelling Moss is going to be more handy here. Oh! Once I grapple with someone, I can squeeze. I mean, it still didn't do any damage, so... Interfuse. Yeah, I'll do it with the fire. We're going to be the most damage. Amazing. That nurse is going to survive, isn't it? Ow. Are all my heroes still at full health? They are. The only people that have been hurt is the is Iglor, the bone construction, and the bell hops. Big. Just for style points. Let's clear out the rest of the room as well. Because 
But this guy's gonna die to poison next turn anyway. No! Yeah, go bellhop! Easy. Easy. Honestly, giving us too many chapters makes the game easy. And Viv levels up to level 5. We will get um, untouchable. When Viv gets a kill, the next attack against him will miss. The walk back out was darker. But the ceilings didn't collapse on us. And without their maddened voice to call them from the things that were once Mortigai... No, oh, without the maddened voice to call them, the things that were called Mortigai fell still and silent. Some were burned. Some were buried. And a few were repurposed. So, what are you going to do now then? The yondering lands are a bit sour on the mechanical folk at the moment. It would be it would be why I can't talk. It would be wise to lay low. What's another few hundred years after all? <gasps> Krell? It's got to be right. That's got to be Krell. The end. And we've done it. You've won. 159 total years of peace and a second season of our Wildermyth playthrough done. With no game overs yet. One of these playthroughs will end as a game over. Ah, oh, look at our three young heroes. Krell, Arin and Kasim. So long ago. Hadian and Luna could never fully abandon their adventuring life. While the danger had dimmed, there were memories yet to be made. Know how I say we've loved before? I hope we love each other again in our next lives. How greedy you are, I'm just happy to have you for this world, and these nights. Kasim's dream of his personal research tower had finally been fulfilled. He kept it well stocked with tomes and scrolls full of formulas. He must be like 85 at this point. <laughs> oh, the stone here, yeah, remember that? One day, Gendium awoke with a lightness in his step. I understand now, it all makes sense. He vanished for ten years, and returned somehow unaged and full of contentment. Erin had developed a passion for restoring ruined sites. They may not have quite matched their former glory, but she had hoped the former inhabitants wouldn't be too embarrassed. Krell! Bran got up to see the sun rise every morning. Often, he insisted on company. Why me, though? Come on, Dad, just watch it with me. We can't take a single dawn for guarantee- for gra for, uh, We can't take a single dawn for granted. Not anymore. There were days Luna and Hadian felt far apart, during small errands or when they got to dwelling in distant remembered- in distances remembered. Sold it, finally, the old bed. They'll come by today. But they never stop returning to each other, down roads and across fields of memory. Ark gathered as many of the company's stories as he could, and enlisted Hadian to illustrate them. Ugh, just as creepy as I remembered. Erina visited Jamanda and Salvea, catching them up on all of her adventures. I don't remember this part. <laughs> Oh, is that it? I can't, I can't skip anymore. Well, gang, that is it. I don't really want to skip, but a part of me feels like I should skip. I'm going to do it. These heroes will be added to your legacy. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So Gendium did not join our legacy, which I guess makes sense. I get five hero slots, so Krell's got to go there as a local legend, of course. Arin, of course. Kasim, of course, main character. Piper. You forget about Piper. And I guess it should be Viv, right? Actually, I would argue that Hadian was Pavor Viv. Yeah, go on, Hadian. And our second playthrough is done. If we finally go to our legacy page, 
we will see it look a lot more stocked up, a lot more populated. And we should have all the heroes from the story we've just done, The Enduring War, and the first story. Who on earth is that? Bran! Bran, your hair! I'll fix this for you, buddy. Um, I know it wasn't that one. What was the hair? We'll find it. Was it? Wait, I, do I just see it? Was it this one? No, it wasn't that one, right? It had a long strand of hair that went across the face. I don't see it. Well, I guess that hairstyle's that hairstyle's gonna have to do. Uh, anyone else looking different? Oh, Erina, why don't you have a face? I actually don't remember what face Erina had. I'm going to go with... Why is there an option to have no face? <laughs> I'm going to go with this one, even though I don't think it was that one. Anyone else? Luna. Go with that one. Okay, that is everyone. Uh, and we'll do the same thing we did before. Because I can't choose a specific age. Bran, you're going to go to 20. Uh, Curl is from the last story. Thane. Viv. 49. Unfortunately, you're back down to up to 50. Uh, oh, Olive's from the last story. Arin. Sorry, mate, you're 70. Luna, 40. Oh, Mulligan, you're from the last story. Kasim, oh, borderline. I can't even go above 80, so it's got to be 80. Borderline 85. Ark, yep, yeah, you're going to be 40. Don't ask me why I do this, by the way. Sorry, Krell, you're going to be 70. Uh, is that everyone? Have I done these guys? 50, 40, 67. Okay. That is everyone. So we're not going to start our next playthrough yet, obviously, but let's have a quick sneak peek next time in Wildermyth. It will be Monarchs Under the Mountain, Discontent, Dash, Dreams, Destruction and Death, an underground cult thrives, so this will be the deepest, lying in it, lining its nest with disasters, if opposed, the ancient tyrannical powers behind it will bring battle to life, loving, fierce and free, before perhaps making them an offer. A five chapter story with deepest as the main threat. And then the last one is going to be Thrixel, a five chapter. All the Bones of Summer. Oh, I know. Okay, All the Bones of Summer is the last one. Five chapter story with Draven. Sun Swallows Wake is the interesting one because it's three chapters for legacy heroes only. So people that have already completed the game. And maybe it'll be one person from our first story, one person from season three, one person from season five altogether. Who knows? I don't know how I'm going to decide that, to be fair. I might just randomize it. But yeah. Season two is done. Season 3, Monarchs Under the Mountain, will be here soon. Gang, thank you for watching. I've been your boy, LFJ. I hope you've enjoyed Season 2, The Enduring War. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then. Ciao for now. Much love. And I'll see you, see you soon. Bye. <laughs>